Hi guys and welcome to this next episode in the Flight Controller Therapy Series. I'm Darren and today we'll be looking at how to get link quality displayed on your OSD in iNav. If you're currently doing this, sending the RSSI over channel 12, you might just want to watch this video. There's a new, better, easier way of doing it. Check it out. So in the introduction, I said that there's a new way of doing it, but in all honesty, it's been there for about a year now, but not many people know about it. They still go through the old fashioned way of doing it. So just as a bit of background on, on what we've got here, I've got my uh, Sonic model F1 wing, which at the moment has a Crossfire Nano, which at the moment it's only temporary because I, I'm going to sort out a different antenna and fit it but it's all it all that's been done is bound up other than that i've not actually changed any settings on the receiver whatsoever it's literally just been bound to the crossfire transmitter and obviously installed on the uart so i'll put that to the side for a minute and what we're going to do is have a quick look at crossfire plug that in i'll get a battery in the wing So this, as I say, this, this receiver, it's, I've literally bound it. It did an update to the latest version and that's it. If I hold down the button to go in the menu, if I go in the device, sorry, if this is hard to see. So if I go in the output map, you'll see that all this is on standard. Crossfire, TX, RX, channel three is blank, smart audio. This is obviously the outputs for the um, the actual receiver board itself. And if I go in the channel map, you'll see it's all just channel one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I haven't even stuck it on 12 channel. This is just using the standard eight channels. So we come out of that. That's literally all you need to do in Crossfire. You just bind it. You don't need to set anything else up on this at all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take the USB and plug that into the wing. And what we'll do is we'll jump into iNav. Again, just for clarity, I've had this model running before on Crossfire. Um, I've just swapped the receiver over because I wanted to put the micro that was in it in something else because I need more room in the F1. So that's why it's got a nano. It used to run a, a micro. So it, this is, I literally just five minutes ago updated it to 2.5.1. So now we need to go to the receiver page and you can see all I've got here is that it's a serial receiver crossfire and you'll notice most of all that RSSI is actually disabled. Right, so we're back. I've just plugged it into my Tyrannus and I believe I've set up a telemetry page. So yeah, we can see link quality is at 100%, which is basically the LQ. So on the back of a transmitter, it says 300. This is scaled to 100 and obviously adjusts accordingly. So on the back of the, um, the module you can see the LQ is around 300 sometimes drops down to low 290s so it's pretty much stable at top end you saw it went to 291 there but what I'll do is if I blank off the camera on the plane and then try and get the goggles on you can see up in that corner it's not quite going there you go it's a bit best i'm going to get it but you can see it's around 99 percent and that there is your link quality all you do on the osd in inav if we go to the osd oh is it plugged in yeah you can see i've got you just set it up still to use the rssi 
but now they've put signal strength. And basically, it is automatically detecting what to use to get the signal strength. And I'm doing this demonstration with Crossfire, but it will also work with other things where the signal is sent down the protocol. So I've heard that it works with um, L9Rs, for example. So if we do a get RSSI, this is the where the magic is happening now. Source is set to auto. So you, you could explicitly set it to an ADC if you've got a analog RSSI in. You can set it to a channel. You can set it to protocol or MSP. So auto is just going to detect what you're using. But this is this is where everything is done now. And I believe if you just select Crossfire, it automatically knows to get it from the protocol. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video really useful. If you did, a thumbs up would be great. Please leave a comment and let me know what your thoughts are. If you could subscribe and click the bell icon, that will really help my channel and I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have some great flights and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.